Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another full face of first impressions. I am buzzing about this because there are so many products here that I have been dying to try out for the longest time. There's a few bougie bits, there's a few budget bits. I'm also gonna be showing you guys the new Glossy Box because they have very kindly sponsored this video. You guys know I love working with Glossy Box. So I have once again teamed up with these guys here to share with you the new birthday box from Glossy Box. It's their ninth birthday. Happy birthday. I feel like I need like a party hat or like a party popper or something. Maybe I'll insert one here. Yay! So yeah, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys everything that's in this month's glossy box. It's a good in, when's it not? I'm gonna be chucking a load of new products on my face, let you guys know my thoughts. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so first of all, I love this packaging. This literally just makes me feel like it's my birthday. So if you guys have been living under a rock for the past, well, nine years and you don't know anything about Glossy Box, it is a monthly subscription box. I know I work with them, but I'm just gonna put it out there. They do the best beauty boxes. They kind of always have done. I've literally been ordering Glossy Box for so, so long and now obviously I get to work with them, which is just insane. So depending on the kind of subscription, <laughs> subscription that you have, I swear I talk too fast even for myself sometimes. Depending on the type of subscription, there we go, that you've signed up for, you can get a one-off box or you can get a box for three months, six months or 12 months. Each box contains over 50 pounds worth of product but costs just a tenner. But if you guys use my code, which is just Steph, you can get 15% off if you pre-order the September box. One thing I will say, like of course I'm gonna sit here and promote the box, like I love it and I'm working with them. But if there was ever a time where you guys were like on the fence and kind of umming and eyeing about whether or not you wanted to sign up, if you do sign up for the September box, you will get a discount code for the advent calendar. And if you guys have seen my previous videos featuring the advent calendars, they're nuts. Like in one of their last advent calendars, there was a full size Huda Beauty highlighter palette. So yeah, just a little heads up with that. If you guys did want to get the advent calendar, then next month there will be a discount code for subscribers. Okay, let's just dive into this guy here. So take the lid off, you have your little booklet here. This just tells you a little bit about the products inside. You also have a little sneak peek of the advent calendar on the back. It says it's gonna include Huda Beauty, Iconic London and Lime Crime. And that will be available from the 8th of September. So put that in your diaries. So this is what the box looks like when you open it up. As you can see, you've got five different products in there. The first thing we have here is the Molten Brown Delicious Rhubarb and Rose Bath and Shower Gel. Yum. And this is a good little travel size. Like it's not one of those teeny tiny little travel sizes that you'll get like one shower out of. This is the kind of thing that if you're going on a trip, if you're going on a little holiday, you can pop this in your suitcase and it'll last you just fine. Oh, it seriously smells so good. And that normally retails for the full size, which is 300 mil, it retails for 22 pounds. This here is a deluxe mini, which is 100 mil, and that would normally cost you 7 pound 33. We then have the Brushworks HD Wonder Complexion Sponge. It says versatile blending sponge, three in one design, latex free. I actually don't have a clean beauty blender right now. Like I've literally run out. I need to give them all a good wash. So this will come in very handy for me. And this retails for 5.49. Next is a lip liner from Steve Laurent. I've tried out some of their products before and they're always really Really, really good. So this one here is in the shade Vogue and it looks like it's a really nice kind of rosy, mauve sort of shade. Ooh, that's nice and that is very creamy, but like the pencil doesn't seem to wear down too quickly. And this guy here retails for just over 12 pounds. I'll be trying that out in a minute. Then, very exciting, but you also get a sneak peek of Glossy Box's new skincare line. So yeah, they've included a full size of the Eye Boost Cream, which I mean, I may as well just give it a go now. It's good to prep the skin, you know? But it says it reduces the appearance of dark circles and puffiness. Yes, please. I did not get enough sleep last night. It feels really cooling. Like, I know that's such a cliche thing to say with eye creams, but it genuinely does. Just feel like it's kind of like waking up my eyes a little bit. That's nice. So uh, yeah, Glossy Box Skincare coming very, very soon. They've also included a little bit about it in the book. I mean, it sounds spot on. It says there's no complicated names or formulas. It's affordable, effective, eco-friendly, cruelty-free and natural. That's fab. And it says as a subscriber, you'll get 20% off the whole collection with all products costing between just £12 and £18. That's good. So yeah, they sent me over a sneak peek of the skincare. How satisfying is that? Like that's some good packaging. So we have a three-in-one moisturizer, a three-in-one rich moisturizer, the eye cream, a deep cleansing cream, and then a gentle foaming cleanser. And then it says lift me up. So let me just pick this up. Okay, I appreciate that packaging. Good design there. And then we also have the hydrating mist, night serum, exfoliating clay scrub, purifying charcoal cleanser, and a daily micellar gel cleanser. I am very interested in the hydrating mist. 
Okay, packaging is cute. It says spray three bursts on to cleanse skin to tone your complexion or to prime before makeup application. Let's do that. Oh, that's nice. I was expecting it not to really have any kind of scent, but it's a very light, almost kind of floral smell. The spray on this is good as well. Oh yes, the spray on this. That is literally, that's the most satisfying spray. A little sidetrack with all the skincare there, but yeah, you do get a full size of the eye cream in this box. And then the last product, which gets me very excited, is something from Huda Beauty. It is one of the Demi Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I love these things so much, and they sent this over in the shade Shaker. As I'm sure you guys know, these things are not cheap. They retail for 18 pounds and you can get one of 10 different shades in your box. So yeah, I got the shade Shaker and it's like, I don't think I have this one. It's, oh my God, that actually works perfectly with the lip liner. Do you reckon they did that on purpose? That is definitely going on my face in a minute. So if you guys do want to check out Glossy Box for yourself, there will of course be a link down below. And if you do want to pre-order September's box and obviously get all those lovely discounts, all you have to do is use the code Steph. I'll put it somewhere on screen now, but I'm sure you know my name by now. And yeah, you get 15% off. Boom. So that's it for this month's Glossy Box. Now, let's get glam. Okay, so first of all, for primer, I'm gonna go in with a product from The Ordinary that I have heard so much about. This is the High Adherence Silicone Primer. Okay, it's actually a lot more moisturized than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna kind of be like a pore filling primer. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop that mostly over the center of my face and on my chin. I mean, so far so good. It applied nicely. It hasn't like balled up or anything with my moisturizer underneath. Then for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation and of course the HD Sponge. The shade I have it in is 2.22, so fingers crossed that'll match. So it says it's full coverage, so I'm not gonna take too much because I have learned my lesson recently. Okay, they really weren't lying when they said full coverage. Like, I really did not use a lot of that, and obviously a sponge does soak up the product a tiny bit. Like, that is, that is some full coverage, but it looks really nice on the skin. Seems to be blending out really easily. Okay, I'm gonna take a tiny little bit more. You really do not need a lot with this. And then again, just blend that out on my skin. Like that, that just fully covered up my spot there. That's what we like to see. I've not ever really tried out too many Smashbox products in the past, but this foundation is making me think, maybe I need to dabble in some more. Let me know if you guys have tried out Smashbox makeup. What's your favorite product? Like, what do I need to pick up? Like, this is probably one of the nicest foundations I've tried in a really long time. Kind of gives me Milani 2-in-1 vibes, but it's a little bit thinner in consistency. But yeah, still super full coverage. The sponge is really nice as well. It blends everything out really, really quickly. Very happy with that so far. I think my skin looks great. So now for concealer, I have a product from Max Factor. I, again, never really use Max Factor products, but let me know if you guys want me to do like a testing video or something on them. So this is the Facefinity All Day Flawless Concealer. It says Flexi Hold, Long Lasting, and it's got coverage. Yes. So I'm gonna pop some of that under my eyes. Okay, I was not expecting it to be that light. But that's fine. I'm just gonna go in the corner of my nose a tiny bit and then over a couple of spots. I probably shouldn't do this considering it is such a light concealer, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And then also a bit down here, just to highlight, and on the brows. And then also a little bit to kind of conceal my brows, and then a bit on my eyeballs as well. Let's see what you got. Um, It's not awful. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me just blend it out in the rest of my face to see, because I'm really not sure. I feel like it's doing something funny under my eye here. Like, it's not overly noticeable. I feel like it just looks a little bit... I mean, I wouldn't say it's got that much coverage. Like, obviously it's concealing, it's doing an all right job, but I'm not wowed by it. There's nothing overly awful about it. I'm just like, mm. Yeah, like, I feel the foundation on its own did a better job of concealing that than the actual concealer did. Let me take a bit more of that foundation and go over it like that. Yeah, see, that does a better job of concealing than the actual concealer. It's not awful. It's not doing anything overly bad to my skin, but I'm not, like I can kind of take it or leave it. I actually think I'm gonna go in with a bit more foundation and build up the coverage that way because I do genuinely prefer how the foundation looks on its own. Like, that's instantly more coverage. Yeah, not really sure I'm a fan of that concealer. Like I said, it's not doing anything overly bad. It's just not my fave. 
So now let's move on to powder. I went on a huge powder buying binge the other day. That sounds like I was doing some sort of drug deal. But yeah, I picked up a load of new powders to try out. This one is the Revlon Candid Powder. So I got this in the shade 001. I don't think it's like fully translucent, but oh, it's got like an interesting little lid thing. Seems quite finely milled. I'm just gonna pop a bit of that in the lid. Looks like this. You can't see that. Looks like this. You see? Great, okay. So first I'm just gonna start by setting my under eyes. Okay, I don't like something going on here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it looks a little bit, I know I'm very picky when it comes to, I'm, I've got so many mirrors here, I don't know who I'm looking at. Hello. I know I am very picky when it comes to base, but I literally like my base to look flawless. Mm. Okay, this powder seems to be very, very mattifying, which scares me a little bit. I'm now just gonna set down the rest of my face. It's good at getting rid of shine though. If you find that you have oily skin or if you just really like a matte look, this does get rid of shine, but without looking too heavy. Uh, something here I am not enjoying. I just feel like it's gone a little bit more kind of dehydrated looking. Before it was like plump, hydrated. Now I've got that powder on. I'm like, again, it's not bad. It's not terrible, but I am just so picky with powders. But now that I've put this on, I'm like, mm, kind of preferred how it looked before. But who knows, maybe by the time I've added like a setting spray or I've worn it for like half an hour or so, it might look a little bit better, but yeah. It's not awful, it's not like really drying me out or doing anything extreme, it's just a bit more matte than I would personally like. So if you are more into like dewy, glowy skin, this will take the shine down a lot. So maybe if you are gonna use it, just focus it on like the center of your face. So now for bronzer, I have this one from Winky Lux. It's in the shade Latte and it's called the Coffee Bronzer. I'm pretty sure this smells of coffee. Oh no, it's broken. No, it's all right, we can save it. Oh, yeah, it smells kind of like the Too Faced chocolate bronzer with a little bit of coffee mixed in. It's like a little mocha. Yum. This looks like a banging color as well. Again, it looks really, really similar to the Too Faced chocolate bronzer. Okay, it's very pigmented with a lot of kickback. I'm just gonna pop that just in here. Oh, okay, I think we're gonna be, I think we're gonna be really good friends, Winky Lux. I think we are this looks like my kind of bronzer. The kind where it warms you up just a touch without making you look like too orange. I like a little bit of orange, but not like too much. But it's also cool toned enough, so you can contour with it a little bit as well. This is really nice. Ooh, I, I get so excited when I find a new bronzer that I like. Like I like a lot of bronzers, but there are very few bronzers that I love, and I think I'm gonna really love this. Good color, applies nicely. The only downside to it is when you do tap your brush in it, there is quite a lot of kickback, but that doesn't bother me too much. It's just something to note. So before you do apply it to your face, I would just tap off your brush. Let's do a bit under my nose. Go a little bit down the sides of my nose as well. Yeah, I think this might become a new favorite, you know? The way that looks on my skin is exactly how I want my bronzer to look. I actually might even love that as much as I love the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. I know. So now for highlighter, some of you guys may recognize this. I picked this up in boots on a whim. It's the Revlon Skin Light Prism Pris Prismatic Highlighter in the shade Daybreak. Look at this. It's like silver and I love it. Okay, let's try this out. I won't lie, I was expecting it to be a little bit more intense, but let me just see if I can build it up. Okay, that's a bit better. It does look good, but it's just like, I'm so used to things like Rodeo Drive, Becca highlighters, MAC highlighters. It's just a little bit more of a dry formula, which I know sounds crazy because powders are inherently dry, but if I'm being really picky, which apparently today I am, I'm very hard to please today apparently, it just looks like it's kind of sitting on the skin a little bit more than I would like. Don't get me wrong, I am happy to add this to the collection. I will continue to wear it. It's just not really blowing my mind. It's nice, it's not mind blowing. All right, so now I'm gonna be on setting spray. So I have this little bougie number here, the Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush. Air, the, I can't speak today. I just need, like, I'm just gonna go, all right? I have one job, put makeup on and say a cohesive sentence. Can't do either. Rewind, let's try again. The Airbrush Flawless uh, Setting Spray Party All Night. Stay all day. Looks like this, let's give it a sniff. Okay, if you don't like scents, you probably won't like this because it is very, very scented, but I love it. That is so scented. Oh my God, that smells so good though. It's kind of like spraying perfume on my face, but I'm also not mad at it. 
Let's see. Have you turned me into a supermodel? Oh, that looks nice, you know. Let's add a little bit of glow, but without being too much. Let's see how long it keeps my makeup on for, because, I mean, if you're going to be paying this much money for a setting spray, you want it to, like, do something. But on first impressions, it's making my skin look really nice, so, so far, so good. So next, I have a new blush to try out from Lottie London. I should have put it on before, but I forgot I had it. So this is called the Ombre Blush, and I got it in the shade Serene. So it looks cute. As you can see, you've got more of, like, a neutral shade here, and then a bit more of a pop of pink there. I'm just going to tap my brush all over, and then I just dust that on the top of my cheeks here. Oh, that is actually really pretty. It's like a little bit bronzy, but it's also got a little pop of color. I feel like it's just kind of lifted up this cheek a little bit in comparison. It's not too pigmented either, so it's not like you put a tiny little bit on your brush and then you end up looking like a clown. I am the last person to get excited about a blusher, but this is actually really, really pretty and affordable. Not bad. So now I'm in dire need of a little bit of lip balm. My lips feel like they're about to fall off my face. So here I have the Very Bougie Silk Balm from Huda Beauty. It's in the shade Blush, but I'm pretty sure it's just like, yeah, it's just like a clear kind of glossy balm. It's got a nice smell to it. it smells like sweets. I smell like beef. I smell like beef. It looks really pretty. It's a bit of a weird one though, because it is obviously quite a pricey product that it's like, Okay, but if I'm literally just gonna put my lipstick over the top of this or wear it to bed or something, is this worth the money? I mean, obviously it depends on like your financial situation, but I'm not sure I'd necessarily rush out to buy another one of these if I ran out. It is a nice product, but it's just whether or not you wanna spend the coinage on this kind of thing for a lip balm. But it is nice. I don't know. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. So here I have the Sleek Microfine Brow Pencil and I've got it in the shade Ash Brown. So it's just your standard kind of micro brow pencil, spoolie on one side, skinny little pencil on the other. It's quite scratchy. And by quite scratchy, I mean like, it's actually hurting my hand a little bit. Swatching it, like, maybe you guys can hear this. Let's see what it's like in the brows. So I'm just gonna draw in a couple of extra hairs on my arch. Okay, on the brows, it actually, it's quite sheer, so it's not overly creamy and it doesn't look overly obvious. That is actually way better than I thought it was gonna be. It's not something overly opaque, so if you do want kind of like a blocky brow or something really intense, it's probably not gonna give you that. But if you do just wanna fill in a few gaps without it looking too heavy and too obvious, this actually works really well. I'm sorry I doubted you there, little sleek brow pencil. So next we'll try out these lip products from Glossy Box. So first of all, I have the Steve Laurent liner. So I'm just gonna line the outside of my lips with that. That's a really pretty color. It kind of looks like Mac Whirl. The tip of this stays sharp for so long that it just makes it so easy to be really precise. So then I'm gonna go in with the Demi Matte Liquid Lipstick from Huda Beauty. So like I said, I have tried these out before. I love them so much, but I haven't tried out this color. Oh my God. Oh, hello there. Oh my God, that's literally like, the perfect match for the lip liner. I never wear this kind of shade of pink, like a really kind of mauvey, rosy sort of color. It's nice though. Don't get me wrong, it's a little bit different for me because you guys know I'm so into just like my beige nudes. But if I take my sponge and light in the middle, oh, that's really nice. Who am I these days? I got my brown eyes, I got my natural hair color, I got like a pink lip. Next, move on to eyes and the palette I have here, I am very excited about it. I have not tried anything from Dominique Cosmetics before. If you guys don't know, this is the brand from the YouTuber Kristen Dominique. And this is the Latte 2 palette. I have heard so many good things about the original one. Oh my God. Okay, hello. This makes me very happy. Just the pops of color, the neutrals. Let me swatch this shade here. Whoa. That is stunning. I think today I am just gonna play it safe with the neutrals because I'm not really sure how like this color will go with this lip. But let me know if you want another video on this palette because I am dying to use that green shade and this like mustardy color as well. Oh, look at you. I need to do a look with those two colors. Let me know if you want me to do that. So first of all, I'm gonna go in with this shade here, Cafe Con Lesh, Leche, Lesh, don't know. Middle one. I love how big the pans are in this palette. And I'm gonna blend that through my crease. I'm just gonna whack that all over my lid and in my crease just to act as a base. I then think I'm actually gonna go back in with that bronzer because I don't really wanna go straight in my crease with one of these darker shades. So yeah, I think I am just gonna use this bronzer. And again, just run that through my crease. 
Then using the same brush, because I'm a lazy biatch, I'm gonna go in with coffee beans here, so that's the darker brown shade. It's like the slightly more cooler one. And I'm gonna focus that on the outer corner, just ever so lightly so I can build it up. And then again, just start to run that into my crease on the outer corner. I feel like that's looking quite dry. I'm... Mm, it's quite subtle. Like, the colours are quite subtle. I'm actually gonna run that in my crease because it's not as dark as I thought it was gonna be. I'm not wowed. I wanna be wowed. Because this part looks really nice. I'm gonna take some of that shade on my lower lash line and we'll see how that looks. The colours just seem quite sheer. Am I the only one thinking that? Like, I'm packing it on here and it's not really... I mean, it's there, you can see it, but it's maybe not as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be. Let me swatch it and just see. Yeah, like... I thought it was going to look like that, but it just kind of doesn't. Let's try a shimmer. I'm going to go in with iced coffee here on a flat fluffy brush. And I'm going to pop that on my lid. Mm, I'm not really feeling this, so I won't lie. I feel really bad because I was buzzing about this, but let me try it with my finger. It's better with my finger. But I don't like applying eyeshadows with my fingers. I want to do it with a brush. I'm going to try a bit of drizzle. Well, okay, that's a bit more intense. But it is still quite crumbly. I mean, I'm keen to try it out on a wet base. People always say to me, like, just use it on a wet base. But not everyone wants to do that. Like, sometimes I don't want to do instagram -y kind of makeup. So yeah, I mean, considering this is like a high-end palette, I'm not impressed. I'm not loving it. Mm. I'm going to take a bit of frap or frappe and pop that on my inner corner. We'll see what that looks like. It's almost just like... The mattes are quite sheer, uh, the shimmers are nice, they're just a little bit too chunky. I'm not loving it. I feel bad because I love Chris and Dominique, and I am determined to love it because the colours and everything about it just looks amazing. But yeah, like, as it stands right now, I'm just not, not really feeling it, because it just looks a little bit kind of messy and muddy almost. So now for mascara, I have this one from Huda Beauty. It's just called the Legit Lashes Mascara. You've got one side that says curl and lengthen, and then one side that says volume. It's a hell of a chunky mascara. So I'm just gonna use the volume side to... Oh my God, okay, that works instantly. That is a decent mascara. I'm now gonna go in with the lengthening side, was it? The other side anyway. I'm not normally the kind of person to layer up two different mascaras, but I am kind of into it. This literally makes my lashes look like falsies. That is a bloody good mascara. If that lasts on my face and if it doesn't like smudge or crumble or anything, that's a new fave. All right guys, so now I'm gonna do my usual, go off camera, do the other eye, sort my hair out a little bit, and then I will check back with you guys for the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. It is currently 20 past two in the afternoon. I've got to go to the dump. I've got to go for a bank meeting. It's the first day in, I mean, just a really long time that I've gone out for like multiple reasons throughout the day. So I'm a little bit like, I've kind of forgotten how to communicate with others. But yeah, so far I am pretty happy with this makeup look. It's not like my favorite. I love the lips, I like the brows, I like the skin, I like the mascara. It's mostly just down to the powder and the eyeshadow palette. And maybe even the highlighter as well actually, because now that I've had this on my skin for like, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, the highlighter isn't that intense anymore. Like, where is it? I need more. So yeah, I'm gonna go about my day. I will just insert a little cutaway and macro shot of how this makeup is looking on my skin right now. So yeah, I'm gonna head off to the dump. It's probably not many makeup tutorials if someone says that. I'll wear this for a little while and then I will check back with you guys later to see how it all wears. It's now 20 to 10 in the evening. I am ready to take my makeup off. Let's have a little look to see how it's looking. Wow, my brows are going wild right now. It's been pretty hot here in Cornwall today, but my makeup has actually stayed on really, really well. A Little bit more going around my mouth with some smile lines and a little bit of kind of like, not cakiness, just a little bit more texture than normal. I can literally see from when I was eating a burger earlier, that my lipstick has like transferred onto my chin. So that's cute, I've probably had that on all day. The mascara I'm buzzing about because like I said earlier, if this doesn't crumble, if this stays on my face, it's a new fave and it literally looks exactly the same as before. To be fair, the powder has actually kept my skin quite matte. I don't love it on like the sides of my face where I normally like a little bit more glow, but I think I will definitely use it to like set under my eyes and also like on my forehead. Cause it has kept all of that looking pretty good. So let's talk faves. I think my favorites, obviously, 
the coffee bronzer. I definitely think these three products combined made for a really nice base. Like, I love the foundation, I love the coverage. And then yeah, these two combined, I felt like they maybe made a little bit of a difference to how long they stayed on my face, because like I said, I was running around a lot today. That's the point actually, face masks. I had my face mask on earlier on and I mean, you can maybe see a tiny little line where the strap was, but otherwise, yeah, my makeup's actually stayed on really well. I completely forgot that I was wearing my mask earlier because you literally can't even notice it. PSA, wear your mask, kids. The two products I wasn't overly keen on had to be, unfortunately, the eyeshadow palette, but I will try it again on a wet base. And then also the Revlon powder that's not awful, it's just a little bit too matte to put it all over my face. Oh, on the highlighter as well, like there's literally barely any highlighter left on my face at all. And anyone that knows me knows that that's just a big old no-no. So yeah, I wasn't overly impressed with that, but everything else, very good. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know as always what you think of this makeup look in the comment section down below. Once again, if you guys did want to pre-order the September Glossy Box, then you can get 15% off using the code STEPH, which again will be on screen and also down below as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.